Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully from the intro footage uh, you realise I'm fishing back at uh, Abbotsbury today down near the Dragon's Teeth. It's Monday the uh, 9th of October. It's a glorious day, it's about 20 degrees, the sun is out. It's a bit of an Indian summer and um, it's flat calm basically, no, uh, no wind. It's been calm for a couple of days actually but there is a little bit of colour in the water today here at, uh, at Abbotsbury. Um, yeah, so at the Dragon's Teeth, I've just started, it's half past two in the afternoon. Um, low, sorry, high water is quarter past three, and then low water is about half past nine tonight. But they're very, very small tides. Um, there's less than a metre difference between high and low. And uh, in the Bristol Channel, where I, I normally am, like it's four meters difference when normally there might be eight to ten meters difference so they're real real neat tides so it's bright sunshine uh, flat calm and no tide so what could possibly go wrong today <laughs> we'll see anyway it's just nice to be out uh, baits today I've got um, blow lug ragworm from real fun fishing in Port Zed I've got frozen blacks, frozen rag and lug from my last trip, which I salted down. I've got sand deal, prawn and uh, squid and mackerel, I think. So plenty of baits to choose from. Um, I've tried spinning for mackerel at the start, just to wet the lines on the three rods, uh, but no mackerel as yet. Plenty of people here, not so many down this dragon's teeth end. There are a lot down um, by the car park in front of the car park and down towards the cottages where I was going to go but I've, I've come this way and also there's a massive trawler that is just going up and down basically from the car park I think he might be heading this way anyway I'll try and get the drone and have a look at that but he's about 300 meters offshore so he's working that stretch of, of coast down the bottom there rigs um, I'm fishing um, pulley panels size uh, ones and size twos. I'm hoping for a late season bream. Lots of bream being caught down the Portland end of the beach. I haven't seen much reports of, of bream here but we'll, we'll see, fingers crossed, to try and get a late season bream. Um, I've also got a two hook loop rig with small hooks, size two hooks and um, I'm gonna fish a big big bait um, in the sort of you know 20 yards out gutterish just to uh, just see what uh, falls on that. Anyway, any fish is a bonus today.
bite on the one rod here. Let's uh, bring it in and have a look. And there we go, nice little black bream. Um, I was messing around with the drone, trying to get footage of me spinning for mackerel. And I could see the rod <laughs> bouncing away, typical. So I had to land the drone and wind in the feathers. Anyway, he was persistent and he stayed on. So the first fish, been fishing for about three hours, uh, a couple hours after low tide high tide, sorry, uh, getting the odd rattly bite, but obviously this is the first one that I've actually had a chance to, to strike into. Anyway, a bit small, let's put him back in to fight another day. <laughs> well, a glorious end of the day here at uh, Chesil, at Avisbury. It's coming up for six o'clock. I wish the fishing was glorious, but anyway, that uh, black bream so far has saved the blank. He came on a loop rig, uh, bottom hook of the loop rig, and took rag and squid. So getting the occasional bite, but um, a lot of little fluttery stuff, whether it's, I don't think it's spider crabs because the traces aren't rough, or the snoods aren't rough, so whether it's little fish just picking off the baits, I don't know, anyway. About an hour, it'll be dark, and then we'll see what uh, we'll see what comes along uh, in the evening. The plan is to fish probably uh, low tide is what half nine. Yeah, fish till hopefully one two o'clock in the morning. See how we go. Just retrieving a, a trace and managed to recover some line from the uh, from the ocean. Nice, bright, luminous yellow line. Looks like there is a shock leader on there. Can't see a little bomb lead. So I'll recover the, uh, the rec I'll recover the weight and the rest of it in the bin.
Oh, it's quarter to eight. Been really quiet. I just missed a really cracking bite on my big bait in the gutter. Lying completely slack and I struck. And it had gone. Anyway, your friendly neighbour, the dogfish, then just came along and took a little rag and squid uh, pulley panel. So, uh, along with the bream, just the two fish so far. Tough going, but isn't it always for me? Still got a smile on my face. Let's uh, put him back and see if we can get something a little bit more interesting. Well, it's been a, a tough night. It's gone, it's coming up for 10 o'clock. And uh, here's my first decent fish of the trip. It's a cod, it's about two and a half pounds. Uh, caught on uh, lug and squid on a poly panel. Put up a good scrap in the, in the building surf we got here at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's a nice, nice fish. Been tough going, had a couple of pouting since that dogfish I showed to camera. But other than that, it's really, really quiet. But this makes up for it. So, he'll be nice with a few chips tomorrow. Well, there's been plenty of pouting tonight. And I've had a double dogfish on a panel before. But here's a, here's a double pouting. This one's hooked in the, in, the, in the mouth. And this one is foul hooked in the tummy. Huh. Two pouting on one trace. Oh well, could do it with dogfish, now I can do it with pouting. Let's search, try and get these back in. I've got one on a big pouting, sorry, a pouting on the, a big trace in the gutter at the moment anyway so uh, but it's not quite one part in a chuck but it's but it's almost well it's midnight and it's pretty busy now loads of pouting as, as I had that double hook up just now and lots of uh, good bites but it's uh, just dogfish so uh, anyway better than nothing I'm um, going to fish for another hour, maybe hour and a half. I'm running out of worm. I had half a pound of lug, half a pound of rag. I got, still got a few frozen bits and pieces, but I'm uh, going to give it another hour or so and then I uh, have to pack it in. Anyway, let's put this doggy back. Well, here's got a decent pout in. It's probably uh, three quarters of a pound. Most of them have been pretty tiny. But this is a sort of the best one of the night, but still just a pouting. I think that pouting seen better days. Didn't see what, uh, <clears throat> well, I didn't see any, I saw tiny little bites, but something's had a go at it. Chop through the neck. Not sure what would do that. But uh, that pouting, uh, well, I'll throw him back in, but I don't think he'll, uh, He'll swim away. We're almost packing up now, just uh, bringing in the rods, but the fifth species of the day had to be a conger. Haven't caught one for a while, actually. Anyway, he took a liking to half a mackerel, only a tiny one in the gutter. Thought it might have been something a little bit better, but anyway, we'll uh, get this one back in. Well, I'm going to call it a day. I've been fishing for 11 hours. Um, a reasonable session, I suppose, for me. Caught plenty of fish in the dark. Loads of pouting, double figure pouting. A few dogfish, conga. I had the cod. And the only fish in daylight, or semi, semi daylight at sunset, was that one bream. So, uh, yeah, plenty of, plenty of action after dark. Everything was coming really to uh, size 10 pulley panels and probably put in two or three blow lug on a, on a trace or a couple of king rag with some tip with squid and the sort of blacks, frozen blacks didn't do so well. Most of the fish came to uh, blow lug or, or, or rag. Well thanks for watching. Um, thank you for those that comment on the previous videos and uh, 
those that uh, like and subscribe really appreciate that and uh, probably try somewhere different next time I've uh, been to Chesil a couple of times in a row now so might uh, head back up to the Bristol Channel somewhere and, 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 and fish that so thanks for watching today hope you enjoyed it and if you're out fishing this week take care be safe and uh, see you all soon take care now bye